I don't know. Yes, we have spent time on this. Let us quickly look at this issue whereby NICOM withdrew operational license of one, Niger Insurance, and two, Standard Alliance Insurance PLC. As you are saying there, what we have decided to do for you is to tell you what you can do, how the address to contact, because one or two people had actually tried to contact me on how they need to go about this. We will still discuss this extensively. I still intend to bring an insurance practitioner on this platform to tell us the implication of this. But in the interim, Saya Ogunkwadi Esquire. The address is plot 217 Upper Grace Plaza, third floor, left wing, Shetima Mongunop Crescent, behind Julius Berger Equipment Yard, Utaku, Abuja. They are the receiver liquidator for Niger Insurance PRC. Then for Standard Alliance is Kendi Aina Esquire of Aina Blanksin LP, 5 stroke 7, Ademola Street, Southwest, Ikoyi. They are the receiver stroke liquidator for Standard Alliance Insurance PLC. Now, Aruna, the fact that Nikon has announced the receiver, the liquidator, it means that these two companies seized or they have seized from assistance. Yes, uh, what they are going to do is to uh, sell their assets and uh, first of all, they have to pay bond orders if there are, then pay every other creditors. It is when there is remnant that the ordinary shareholders will be settled and in, in a situation where it cannot go around they have to they will do a pro rata that is why you will say that they want to pay 20 kobo per naira or 10 kobo per naira depending on how much is left after they have settled all other creditors but what did the commission say that they did uh, they said their inability to uh, settle a standing claim for over three consecutive years mm -hmm. and they will understand that they have all suspended the two uh, two company uh, in uh, June 2021. Yeah. According to what I gathered, I learned that Nigeria Insurance have insurance, insurance contract liability of 11.5 billion, while Sunday Alliance have uh, insurance contract liability of 3.9 billion. And over three consecutive years, they are unable to settle it. So maybe NIA feel that uh, they can't do the business. So that is why they are withdrawing their have given them the opportunity they would have the they, would, they would have given you know there's capitalization for insurance, insurance. has been going on and but, but it was suspended they suspended it Midway. <laughs> they suspended i think one thing is that they did, you see before they do that nia would have done their due diligence and discovered that even if they do that they will not be able to continue if they uh, take nigeria insurance for example by removing 11.5 billion from their whatever they are going to get what will be left and they don't want, uh, now that the present shareholders are suffering, they don't want another person, to, other investor to come and introduce money and it would go down the drain. I think it was the best that they would have done. I don't know. How many Niger insurance and uh, Standard Alliance insurance do you think we still have among insurance companies that are still listed? You see, well, well, there's one saying in my village that all uh, lizard. They have their belly on the ground. They don't know which one has stomach pain. The only person that should know which is this NIA because that is where they, they, they make reports to. NICOM. That is where they, they make reports to. They have known. Because if you look at what was said, that they, even sus they were suspended because they would have checked their results. They and know the exactly where they are going to. Out. As a matter of fact, NICOM, to the best of my knowledge, wrote um, them in advance as per this action that eventually they are going to take so i believe that the moment we hear that such thing has happened we know that another insurance and niger insurance is in the making me i don't know me I, I think that we should investigate ideally you see what niger insurance was established in 1962 one of the oldest insurance companies in this country as of the time I joined the market, that was one of the most vibrant insurance companies that are listed on the floor of the then Nigerian Stock Exchange. But if it has come to this level, what this information actually teaches is that we should be wary of any insurance company that we should invest in. That is what it is saying. Now, 
what I don't know, just maybe I will be making sense. From what I have to call for additional information from Wale on this. For example, looking at the job before the liquidator, as at the last result of Niger insurance that we saw in the market, the shareholders fund was slightly above two billion mm -hmm. which cannot settle cannot offset their level of indebtedness yep. and then their net asset per share was actually 27 couple for standard alliance their shareholders fund was 3.9 billion all right and then they have 31 couple net asset per share from this information relating it or placing it side by side the noted uh, indebtedness as in premium holders that they might need to settle that they have not been able to settle for consecutive three years according to NICOM it suggests that at the end investors in this company should just go and rest especially the ordinary shareholders I don't think there's anything coming to anybody what is your information? What, how, what do you have to say to those that are watching us at all? There is nothing they are going to do. Like I said, if there is any remnant from what you said now, uh, Standard Alliance may actually be able to, because what they have, the liability they have is 3.9 billion, which mm -hmm. means they, are, they, could be, they may be able to cover that. But definitely Nigeria Shana cannot cover that. And they have to pay every other creditor first before they think of uh, share, uh, uh, ordinary shareholder. So if you are an ordinary shareholder, you know that if they cannot convert their creditors, then you, you are not definitely expecting anything. So these are, this is one of the risks that we carry investing in stock. And that is why you must endeavor to monitor and to be sure of the kind of stocks you put your money into at any point in time. You can see the reason why I run away from insurance. I can see the reason I run away.